Hey guys and welcome to today's video. So before we get into this video, I just want to say a huge thank you to everyone that watched my Q&A video and for all of the really kind words that you guys had to say. I was really nervous to put that out there because like I told you guys on Snapchat, it's one thing to kind of put out my opinions with makeup and my opinions with skincare and get criticized or feedback and it's another thing to put my personal life out there and I just couldn't be more grateful for the way that you guys responded and all of your love and support and I just feel so much closer to you guys now so thank you so much for watching that and for all of the sweet words uh, but with that let's go ahead and get into this video which is going to be the top five drugstore concealers so I did this video a while back almost a year ago now and I wanted to make a new one because you guys have been requesting it first of all and second of all because some of my favorites have changed even though all the ones I mentioned in that video I still love my top five have has kind of changed a little bit because I've tried a few new products. As always, these are my personal top five favorite concealers from the drugstore, so if I don't mention yours, please go ahead and leave it down in the comments below. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and start with what I think is the best concealer at the drugstore, period, and it is the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. I have mine in the shade 10. I kind of switched between the shade 10 and 20, which is the shade light and the shade sand. They both have pretty yellow undertones. One's just obviously a little bit lighter than the other. But the thing that I love so much about this concealer is that it is a very natural looking concealer. It's a great one for every day, for drier skin, for oily skin. It works on all skin types because it's so creamy and natural feeling. And even though it's not a heavy duty concealer to really conceal acne spots, if you do have some scarring or some less severe things you're trying to cover up, this is a great way to go. It's non-comedogenic, it's fragrance free, so you can kind of add a little bit more coverage on the spots that your foundation didn't cover with a concealer like this to get that little bit of added coverage with a natural finish that's not going to further irritate your skin. This is definitely a concealer, especially for you girls with oily skin, that you're going to need to set. It is very dewy and glowy, so you definitely need to set this with a powder if you want it to last and not crease throughout the day. This reminds me so much of NARS Creamy Concealer. I think it's a perfect dupe for NARS Creamy Concealer, so if you've heard about that, save yourself over $20 and just go with this one because it is just as good in my opinion and a must have in your makeup collection. All right, the next concealer I wanna talk about is a newer favorite of mine and it is the Milani Retouch and Erase Light Lifting Concealer. This concealer came out relatively recently compared to a lot of the others I'm gonna mention and it has quickly shot its way up to the top of my list. It really does what it says, light lifting concealer. This concealer just completely brightens up my under eye area. This is one of those concealers that I'll go for when I want a bright under eye area and yet I want a lot of coverage. It definitely has a medium to full coverage but it's super brightening. So sometimes you can have full coverage concealers that look kind of cakey, they make the skin look dull, but this leaves your skin looking like skin, but it completely covers it up, which is great for those like glam, full coverage type of makeup looks. This one and the Maybelline Master Conceal are two of the closest dupes that I've ever found for MAC Pro Longwear. In terms of coverage and longevity, I have this one in the shade Light, which is 02, and I'm gonna be showing you guys swatches of all of these shades one right next to the other in case you own one of these and you want to see how it compares with all the other shades I'm mentioning. But I do have a swatch of this lipstick on my arm that is kind of still showing through because this is such a long lasting lipstick. So if you see a little weird patch of like a red color, that's what that is. So I apologize. The only thing I don't love about this concealer is the applicator. It's got kind of this hard foamy sponge applicator and it's a squeeze tube. And I find especially with full coverage concealers, I would much prefer a doe foot applicator because you can can control the amount of product you're getting out but it's worth it for the formula inside. I absolutely love this concealer and would recommend it to any of you looking for a really brightening fuller coverage concealer. And speaking of full coverage concealers, this is the other full coverage one that I absolutely love. And again, it's more of a recent find for me that has become one of my favorites very quickly. And it is the Catrice Cosmetics Liquid Camouflage High Coverage Concealer. So I have mine in the shade 020 Light Beige. And what I will say about this concealer is at least on Ulta's website, 
The shade selection on this is horrendous. There's only three shades and they're all three very, very light shades. I think this is the deepest one and you can see it's even too light for me. So that is definitely the downside of this concealer. But this is very full coverage. It's waterproof. So this is probably the longest lasting out of all of the concealers I'm gonna mention. And like I said, it's full coverage, but it doesn't feel like full coverage. This is one of those full coverage concealers that people with dry skin could also get away with using because it has a pretty thin consistency so when you first put it on you don't feel like it's going to be a full coverage it looks like it might have the same coverage as the Maybelline Fit Me but as you go to blend it out it just covers absolutely everything and the way I'd recommend applying this one specifically is not to do the whole like triangle underneath the eye loading it up because it already is full coverage you don't need to pile this on but I would recommend applying just a little bit blending it out and then applying a little bit more if you need to to avoid any cakiness on the skin because like I said it is a very full coverage concealer it claims that it's so full coverage that it will cover tattoos but I don't have any tattoos to test that on all I know is that my under eye bags feel like tattoos underneath my eyes that never go away and this definitely covers those so I highly highly recommend this one all right next up is another concealer and this is on the opposite end of the spectrum this is the lightest coverage concealer of all the ones I'm gonna mention I think I've put this in an underrated makeup video before because it is one of my favorites and not talked about nearly enough and it is the number seven radiant glow concealer first of all the packaging is absolutely beautiful it looks completely high-end the shade name isn't actually on here anymore but I'll try and find it and leave it down in the description box but this is actually a light reflecting lotion for underneath the eyes so it's kind of a moisturizing concealer more like a lotion that you apply underneath the eyes and it just catches the light and bounces it back it's not going to completely cover dark circles it's not going to give you that full coverage so if you like full coverage concealers you will not like this but if you like to have those no makeup days where you have nothing on your face and maybe you just want to pop a little bit concealer underneath your eyes so you don't look completely asleep this is that concealer that you can just pop on no one's gonna know you're wearing concealer because it does apply like a lotion it's super thin in consistency completely untraceable but at the same time it bounces the light back from underneath your eyes and just makes you look refreshed and alive and awake. I know I've talked about this a few times so I'm not going to go on and on but I absolutely love this concealer and highly recommend it as a super lightweight natural looking concealer. And then the last one I want to talk about is definitely a beauty cult favorite but in my opinion it 100% deserves all the hype that it gets and it is the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Dark Circle Eraser and I really really love this in the shade Neutralizer. This is the best shade if you have a skin tone similar to mine it has a little bit more of that yellow undertone it looks really really natural and this does an amazing job of neutralizing like the shade is called those under eye circles not only as a concealer but also as a little bit of a treatment with ingredients like goji berry in it to actually treat the darkness treat the fine lines and not just cover them up so you are getting some skincare benefits with this concealer for that delicate under eye area again I'm not a fan of the applicator on this mine looks pretty clean right now because I just bought a new one and that's another thing I want to mention about concealer in general don't hold on to your concealers for more than a few months because even though you're not supposed to most likely you're dabbing them to conceal pimples and there's bacteria buildup in the tube and you just don't want to be spreading that so make sure you're replacing your concealers regularly a little sidebar there but anyway I don't like this applicator I feel like these types of spongy applicators are just breeding ground for bacteria it just keeps everything in there soaks it all up and I'm just not a big fan it's hard to control how much product you're getting out because you just kind of have to twist it but again just like I said with the Milani one the product inside makes it 100% worth it I would say the coverage on this is somewhere between the Milani coverage and the Maybelline fit me coverage this one's a little bit more natural and this one's a little bit more full coverage so this falls somewhere in between but I love that it offers some skincare benefits while still providing the coverage so 100% recommend this one. Absolutely love it. So that completes this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Again, definitely let me know down in the comments below what your favorite concealer is from the drugstore. I would love to know. And if you enjoyed this video and you enjoy my top five videos, then don't forget to give this one a thumbs up and click that subscribe button. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.